Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about a proven way to get better at your digital marketing or any marketing for that matter. So if you feel like you're constantly behind the ball and you don't know what to do next, you're not sure how to get better in your marketing, how to create marketing that is going to sell and help to grow your business, this is going to be a great video for you. So let's get into it. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos here. So if you're trying to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, this is a great channel to do that in. So be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, and also comment if you have any questions, you need help with anything, or if you'd like me to cover any topic. So let's talk about digital marketing. How do you get better at it, especially when it's constantly changing? It is crazy how fast things are changing. It is crazy how fast ad dashboards are constantly being updated, a targeting that's gonna be taken away, different features that come out, new um, ad types, and just, everything is changing that's one thing digital marketing is in a constant state of change constantly new products coming out new ad products new ad types new ad formats new new places to run ads so how do you keep up with all of these changes there's two things that i want to talk about we have one thing which is principles of digital marketing and then we have the strategies and the tactics so there's in my opinion two things that you need to be learning if you want to grow your brand or your business, um, if, if you own a business, you need to understand the principles for sure. And then you need to have a pretty good idea of the strategies and the tactics and things. But I think that principles need to precede strategies and tactics. And here's why. People in human behavior and digital marketing, there's always going to be something new. But the way that people typically react, the way that people feel, the emotions that they have, it stays the same. One of my favorite books of all time is called Advertising, no, Scientific Advertising. And it was written in the, I wanna say, late 1800s or early 1900s, very, very early. And it's amazing to go back and to read these old marketing books because what they tell you is that they had the same exact problems. It's super interesting. It said, you know, people are too busy, they don't read things. And that was back before TV or even cars, right? People are too busy even back then to read things. And he said, that's not true. People, you know, people say, oh, you're too busy to read. Nobody's reading the copy that you're writing. In truth, people are actually reading stuff that is relevant to them. People are spending time and they're investing time in things that are going to be valuable for them. In every action that people do, they do a value versus cost analysis, right? Is there going to be enough value to actually um, take the next steps, to read this, to watch the video? Is the investment that they're gonna be putting in, is there gonna be a return on that for them? And is it emotional, is it status, what is it? But people, and in general, we react the same way that we did 150, 200 years ago. People have a set of behaviors that, you know, the tactics and the ways that we're going to reach people constantly change. But the ways that human, humans interact with each other, it stays the same. And that's why marketing principles are so important. So principles need to guide your marketing. What does that mean though? So number one, you need to understand how human behavior works. And so there's some great books on that. So Persuasion by Robert Cialdini is a great um, book that teaches you how to be persuasive. Another book that's incredible is How to Win Friends and Influence People that talks about human behavior and how to engage with people and, and really build relationships with people. And marketing and digital marketing is just relationship building at scale. I think you need to realize that anytime you're doing marketing, it's going to be with another human on the other side of that screen. It's not just creating content for you know Google bots or algorithms or things like that. We're creating stuff for actual human beings. And so connecting with those humans is the ultimate kind of point of marketing, right? We're just trying to connect with people at scale. And we have amazing tools to do that, more tools than ever before, and even cheaper than ever before. So that's why I think it's very, very important that you understand marketing principles. Now, uh, and another type of marketing discipline that will help you in every kind of marketing that you're doing is going to be copywriting, in my opinion. So getting started with books like The Boron Letters, which really is a great um, guide for teaching you how to approach digital marketing and business and things, you need to really develop an understanding of why people are doing things and how human behavior works, how to move people from being strangers into being clients and customers and then repeat business. 
So the general principles, as much as you can, you need to understand things um, from a general perspective and, and how marketing works from a general perspective. And I think that when you're starting out, getting as much of that as possible is really, really beneficial. So I'm going to give you one last book um, or author in general, which is Seth Godin. He's so um, amazing in the books that he writes. And it really, luckily, that was some of the first marketing books that I ever read. And it was really formative in how to approach building relationships online with your clients and your customers. So I think that that's very, very important. Once you understand how humans behave, what motivates them, what are the factors that motivate people, and, you know, typically it's fear, potential for gain, or status. Those are typically the big three. Once you understand how to use those to move your marketing message forward and engage with the right groups of people, then you need to start worrying about the tactics. So if you didn't know how to create offers that are going to sell that people are going to want, but you just go out and you run Facebook ads, it's not going to be super helpful. So that being said, you need to understand how to run the Facebook ads once you understand how to motivate your clients and customers and you know who your clients and customers are and you know exactly what it is you're going to be offering. You need to understand what are the best places to be growing your business and engaging with these people. Now, typically, the Internet works in a way that first um, something new comes out whether it's Google Ads or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or like whatever it is out there, something comes out and there's tons of attention there. And then what happens is that marketers take notice that there's tons of attention. And so then they jump on and they start putting ads like crazy. And so initially it's very effective, but then it becomes less effective over time until something else new comes along. And then once something new comes along, Advertisers see that it's popular and interesting and they jump on that bandwagon and then they get started again. So it's always changing. There's always new ways to engage people. So how do you figure out what to do? Number one, I think that you just, as long as you understand the principles of how people engage with different types of content and how people are engaging with mediums, how people are engaging with their friends and their families, how people are engaging inside of the platform is going to dictate what tactics you use. So don't let the tactics get you like stressed out or worried. It's only a Google search away. So if you wanted to do something, first find out where your clients and customers are spending time. So for example, if you are trying to reach 45 year old women, then Facebook and Instagram is gonna be a great place for you. Then you need to say, okay, what are the best kinds of ads that I can be running? What is the kind of content that does well here? And actually start to use the product. So if it's Instagram that you're using, use Instagram a lot. See what's popular. See what people that are in your demographic are engaging with. See how they use it. See how they communicate with their friends and their family on the platform. And then once you see something that's working, emulate that and apply that principle toward your marketing. All we're trying to do really is generate awareness, drive people from awareness to evaluation, and then evaluation to conversion. So discover the principles that are gonna help you there as much as possible, things like Seth Godin's books, um, Robert Cialdini's books, um, Born on Letters, other great books like that, that are very, very helpful to grow your brand or your business. I would love to know though, what do you think? What are some of your favorite books that are super you know, high overview? And then what are some of your favorite tactical books? Would love to know what your thoughts are too. I'll put the links in the books um, in the description below. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you on the next video.